Hi, welcome to this new tutorial of MeshLab. Well, the, the introduction of the MeshLab project and the, the possibility of uh, loading raster images, and in particular images which have been aligned to a 3D model or a point cloud, opens a, a whole new lot of possibilities in MeshLab. Uh, but one of the issues is related also to the fact that uh, uh, sometimes uh, you need to apply uh, operations on a, a mesh uh, but you would like also to while you change for example the position or the size of a mesh you would like to preserve also the relative position of the cameras in the sense that if you for example you apply the manipulator tool or any transform filter uh, of mesh lab and you for example move the model or you scale it then you will lose the registration the alignment of the of the rasters with respect to the model so for this reason uh, there are some functionalities that can give you the possibility to apply transformation um, of uh, a set of camera together with the transformation of the of, of the model of the project so that uh, you won't lose the alignment of the rasters with respect to the models so one of the simplest operations that you can apply is the scaling so if you go in a camera, transform, scale camera or set of cameras, you can apply the scaling operation not only to the, the, the model, but also to all the position of the rasters, so that you will be able to preserve uh, the relative position of the elements. Uh, this can be, for example, quite useful when you're dealing with the uh, uh, models which have been reconstructed from images. So if you were able to import in the context of MeshLab, not only the reconstructed models, but, but also the images which uh, generated that. Uh, you know that uh, if you want to bring it to the real measures, you have to scale it uh, by having a, a reference uh, on, the, on, on the measurement on the real object, so that you find the scale factor that you can apply in the model. So if you want to keep the registration of the images with the respect to the model, uh, using this filter, for example, you just need to write here the scaling factor that you already calculated. You can have a look at the second part of the tutorial on Hack 3D that shows uh, this uh, operations of scaling, like uh, 300, for example. And now, uh, at the moment, if you click Apply, you will apply the scaling only on the current raster. Okay, But here you can find the other two options. One is to apply all the raster layers. So in this way, you will scale only the raster camera and the model will remain the same. But if you choose to apply all of this to all the raster and the mesh layer, then you will scale everything in the scene so that uh, you will preserve the registration. So if I apply the scaling, as usual, since the, everything is, has become bigger, I won't see anything else. Uh, anything uh, in, in the screen but if I as usual click Control H I have uh, here the new scale I have also to play a bit also with the scale factor of the cameras because they have become much smaller with respect to the size of the unit of measurement of the scene and you see now that uh, the, the object is bigger it's 300 times bigger but the images are still aligned with respect to the model. So I didn't lost the registration. So I was able to apply this uh, transforming operation uh, not only to the model but also uh, on the cameras. You can also, if you want, uh, apply the scaling operation first on the model and then you can scale all the raster's camera. So you apply the transformer with the uh, with the filter that you can find here in all curvatures and orientations, transform scale, which is applied only on the, on the mesh layer, and then you can apply the scaling also on the images. But uh, you can do all the things together using the, the, the filter that I showed before. One very important thing at this stage is that every time that you scale a set of camera, you're not uh, really changing uh, 
the image, but you're only changing the parameters of the raster. So when you save the project, all the scaled uh, uh, parameters of the camera will be saved automatically. Uh, while you have been applying a transformation to the, the model, uh, but if you save only the project at this stage, you will keep uh, the right camera parameters, but you won't be able to save the model that won't be saved on disk uh, with this new scaled um, uh, sites. So, if you want, if you are uh, if you are okay with this uh, uh, mesh project, you want to save it. You have to remember to first of all to save the mesh, and then to save the project. Or you can, while well, you save the project, you have to pick all uh, save all files in this way uh, you will save the sample the, the, the mesh and then uh, also the the project with all the camera right camera parameters uh, like this okay so you saw that uh, first of all the vertices have been the, 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 the model has, be, has been saved and then uh, also the, the the project with the new scaled appearance okay so this can be an extremely useful uh, tool to keep your uh, measure project uh, coherent, uh, even if you apply transformation on the scale. And uh, at the same time, you will find that also the other transformation filters, other transformation like uh, rotation and uh, translation, uh, can be applied to a set of, cam of cameras in order to keep them aligned to other 3D models. Thank you.